Hello, our names are Edward and Joe, and we will teach you how to solve systems of equations using substitution. Well, first of all, what is the substitution method? Substitution method is which you replace a variable with an equivalent expression. Here's example one. Y equals 4X minus 8, and Y equals 2X plus 10. Well, first of all, you need to set the equation to equal each other. So your end equation looks like 4x minus 8 equals 2x plus 10. Next, you add 8 to both sides. And remember to cancel the 8 out on the left side. So the equation is 4x equals 2x plus 18. Now you subtract 2x from each side, and the end equation would be 2x equals 18. Now you divide each side by 2, and the end answer would be x equals 9. But you're not done yet. You have to plug in x, or 9 in this case, for x in one of the equations. Uh, we'll use the simpler one, which is y equals 2x plus 10. So your equation would be y equals 2 times 9 plus 10. You use mental math to figure out the multiplication part and you figure out that it's y equals 18 plus 10. Then you use mental math again and you figure out that it's y equals 28. Now you have to put your answers into plot form. So your answer is 928. We're going to show you another way to do substitution if your equation looks like this. y equals x minus 2 and 2x plus 2y equals 4. You substitute 2y for 2 parentheses x minus 2. So your equation looks like 2x plus 2 parentheses x minus 2 parentheses equals 4. Use the distributive property and to for the two parentheses x minus two and you get two x plus two x minus four equals four. Then you combine like terms and you get four x minus four equals four. Then you add four to each side and you get four x equals eight. Then you divide each side by 4, and you get x equals 2. Finally, you plug in 2 for one of the x equations. We'll use y equals x minus 2. So the equation would be y equals 2 minus 2. You use mental math to figure it out, and y equals 0. Now you put your answer in, pl in plot form, and it is 2, 0. Remember, plug in not a number for each variable, then you find the value to each variable, or x and y in this case. Now, try this problem on your own. 3y equals 7x plus 3, and x equals 3. Please pause while you do this problem, then press play when you have figured it out. If you got x equals 3 and y equals 8, you are correct. Good job. Thank you. Keep practicing, and if you have any questions, please ask your teacher.